What's up, YouTube? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, what I caught up with was some more of the problems between Milk Sevenfold and Smack. But it ain't really about Smack, and it ain't really about Milk. But it is some advice for Milk. Milk, when you having altercations with people, try to keep the altercations or the problems based upon who it's about. You know what I mean? You took your energy that you have for Smack, and you start laying it down towards Schoolboy Q, Arshon, um, Arshon Martin, however you pronounce his name. But at that moment, homie, you started putting more of your side of defense business out on the internet. You know what I mean? You start making your politics more accessible for the internet. Now, if y'all having them type of problems in y'all backyard, then that's something that y'all can, you know, clear up in y'all backyard. But you don't need to get on the YouTube and just start bringing up people and dropping names. You know what I'm saying? Some would say that's even like a form of dry snitching. But you're not really politic. And in your belief, you would probably think that you shedding light or you exposing something. But at the same time, nobody else is running around here sp spreading the type of narratives that you were spreading. You know, that's y'all business. Y'all do what y'all want to do about it. I ain't got nothing to speak on the problems itself because, you know, that's y'all business. But I'm just giving some small advice, some small game. You know what I mean? Like, try to stay focused with your topics at hand. Don't just make it hard for you in the industry or the streets or wherever you trying to go with your career and your life. Don't make it harder for yourself. Not saying you can't handle your you can't handle your business. I'm not saying you gonna be a chump. I'm not saying people can do whatever they want to do to you. I'm not saying none of that, milk. I'm just saying you gonna put yourself in a position to where you just gonna be cornered in. You know what I mean? Cause you been in these streets and you come from these streets, like you say, so you understand that when you disrespect one person or if you bring up one person, you pretty much bringing up a few to a five or a half like you know 10 or 20 that's how it go so when you spoke on ski boy q you pretty much offended a lot more people more than just him <laughs> and i'm sure some of your homies wouldn't even agree with that because they probably feel like it didn't deserve to be on the internet. You know what I mean? Now, if that's what your homies or if that's what people be saying and talking about and politicking among you about Skew Boy Q and Arshon Martin and all this and this and this and that, then I guess you might got some facts or some proofs in the in the, in the narrative you kicking. But don't try to defend yourself so well. Don't get so uncomfortable in trying to defend yourself to where you just start bringing up people and dropping names. Just because you feel like your back is against the wall. Because in the same sentence, when you're doing all that and you're saying how you uplift your community, you are so you also are tearing it down. You know what I mean? Everybody don't know about all these things you bringing out on the internet. And again, it don't got nothing to do with these individuals. It just got something to do with you and Smack. And that's where you should have kept it. Or you can keep it based upon whatever individuals that choose to speak against you, Milk. But if you want to be bigger in this space, 
it's, it's going to get harder and harder for you just to be anywhere, whether you're going to be hosting, whether you're going to just be showing up to do a walkthrough, whether you just, you know, trying to get interviews, whether you're going to be in the nice places or not, whatever. Don't be a person that's like, yeah, he straight and he moved right, but his homies did catch up with him. And like I always say, I rock with a lot of the stuff you put out too, Milk. For the most part, I feel like you keep it real. So, you know, that's just how I feel about it. I ain't picking no sides. It ain't really got nothing to do with me on the whole facts and the truths of what's right and what's wrong in y'all community. But just engaging into problems and, you know, small little altercations and stuff of that nature. I'm just trying to kick in, kick out some game to you, Milk. And it ain't even got to be for Milk. It could be for anybody else. You know what I mean? If you having altercations and you really like, you know, don't really have no problem with other individuals. That's not the topic. Just leave them out of it. You know, I ain't never heard nothing bad about Skew Boy Q. <laughs> or R. Sean Martin do. But I ain't gonna make too much of a video about it. I done spoke how I felt about it. And that was it. So y'all do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Share the video if y'all choose to. Keep it a Benji for me in them comments. If not, don't jump in them. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.